I really appreciate the fact in this movie that I think a lot of us think of a Western as a very simple kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This is not simple at all. It's very complicated. Was that one of the things that attracted you guys to it? I mean, I think the there's a lot of things that attracted yeah. us to the film. You know, uh, all the subtext was genius. Uh, I, I, I really like the way JT writes. You know, no expedition. Uh, actor's worst enemy, in my opinion. Uh, and so everything was really on the page, and the characters were all multifa multifaceted. Very much each one was their mm -hmm. own outlaw and angel. Uh, every character, if you really go through them all, all the light and the dark. Yeah. So there was those simple battles, but at the same time, it was a story that stands the test of time. This story itself could have taken place in any era, and it would still stand true, and that's what I really like about it. You could take this exact story and put it in contemporary times, and it would work. I mean, Absolutely. no mm -hmm. hats and, you know. Horses, but yeah. still. I didn't look at it as, as okay, I'm going to shoot a Western and I'm, you know, I'm going to... Because it just didn't, it didn't feel like that when I read it. Um, because I think the characters were so rich and so complex and and I loved that. And, and, and I, you know, I, I loved... Yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. What, th there's so many twists and turns that also that we don't want to give anything away, but if you're in an elevator with someone and they're like, what's this movie about? You say... To break it down, the most broad version is a man seeking redemption, a woman seeking revenge, but uh, I, I always say it's, a, it's an outlaw on the lamb from the, uh, the Mar U.S. Marshals, and while searching for a place to rest, they come across this home, and what they discover is that what's going on inside that home is... Uh, more, for lack of a better word, uh, no, I'm not going to cuss. I'm not not okay. Made a, made a <laughs> What's going on in the home is worse than they could have ever imagined and, 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 and far more screwed up than anything that they had done in their vision. And you're, you're the man uh, seeking redemption. Yes, sir. Do you think before he walks into that home that he is seeking redemption, or d does that change things when he goes through the doors? It's her character, Florence, changes uh, a lot of his motivation in life but in an earlier draft of this script there was another catalyst that caused it and we don't see that now so that kind of changes it but originally in the original script I'll just throw it out there that we had one of the cowboys was basically a son of mine and he dies in our, in, in, in our bank robbery and because of that uh, the pain and the responsibility sits on Henry's shoulders and he decides that he's not going to do that anymore. He's just going to change his colors. I think that that is that that shows, though. I think it absolutely shows that that you already are are kind of ready mm -hmm. to let go of your career yeah. as a as a bank thief. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I thought it was um, I thought it was very clear, very clear where your character was coming from. And for Florence, uh, her, mm -hmm. her goal is to what? I think that Florence is very much the black sheep of the family. Um, and I, the, in, in, my, in my eyes, there is a deep, and in, in Florence's vocabulary, unexplainable hatred and resentment um, f to her family, but also a love, because you know, that's all you know, mm -hmm. that you know, she's very isolated. And so... Um, to meet someone who says, no, you were right, they're wrong, is very empowering. And um, to have someone that you respect and that you, you know, and she was in love with say that to you, I think was kind of what empowered her and, and was the little boost that could change her life. And this is your director's uh, first feature film? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you guys walk onto the set, do you see that kind of pressure on his shoulders? No. Oh, no? he was he was no. cool as a cucumber. Yeah, man. <laughs> this guy, I love him. I, I feel like he's a brother. I mean, he really is to me. Uh, we're cut from the same cloth, so we speak the same language, and we really, when we sat down and we talked about the text, every single thing we're on the same page about. And every time we bring ideas up, we're always like, yeah, that's, that's the moment. That's what we want. And so when he came on, he's a great leader. And I think people are going to be really impressed in years and years and years to come about how much of a great leader he is. He's a way of handling every situation, no matter whether it's stressful, beautiful, happy, sad, doesn't matter. He's got it under control. He's really good yeah. about that. 
It's got great though, also just the style. Like it looks mm -hmm. like classic kind of dark western. Matt Irving, man, RTP yeah. and JT came up with a vision for this film that I think we're all really blown away by. It was amazing because we didn't see. I mean, there, it wasn't. It, it was definitely not a project that you get to kind of that you see it mm -hmm. as you go. So I remember the first time I saw it, I was kind of blown away just at looking at some of the shots. I kind of had chills because um, the, sh the 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 style, the way that it's shot, does pay homage to a lot of wonderful mm -hmm. um, wonderful films of the '70s and '80s and. Hollywood. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Made in Hollywood TV. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And for the next awesome video, click right here. Click in that box right there, right there. Super easy.